Well, we close tonight with a look into the future, the very near future. It's a computer technology that looks so advanced, so far out, it seems like something from a science fiction movie. And in fact, that's exactly where you might have seen just your technology before. As Bill Whitaker reports for tonight's Eye on America. Well, we're looking at a demonstration of the G-Speak gestural technology system. John Undercuffler is putting the G in G-Wiz. In a downtown L.A. warehouse, he and a caffeinated team of computer wizards are conjuring up the next big thing, gesture technology. So you can move anything anywhere on the screen? Absolutely. And all one needs to do to do that is to point to it and just sort of grab it. Gives new meaning to point and click. It's much faster than a mouse and keyboard, more logical. Want to scan ahead on this video? Just point. And when I say easy... It's difficult to learn these moves? I mean easy. Not I got the hang in seconds. Here. How about that? Navigate the city even in real time. Just point. Imagine this would come in handy for traffic controls. You bet. And I thought this was science fiction. Because it first appeared in the sci-fi movie right, Minority right. Report. The movie was actually based on work that we were performing at MIT. So it wasn't really science fiction? No, it was only masquerading as science fiction. Now it's science fact. Like this fog screen that hangs an image in midair. It's a giant step into the future, and it's not just some techie gee whiz as the rest of the world is discovering. Colonel Bruce Sterk runs the extremely high-tech battle lab at Langley Air Force Base. But when he saw Minority Report... As a military person, I said, my goodness, how, how great that would be if we had something similar to that. He might soon. Defense contractor Raytheon is financing the gesture technology team, seeing potential fighting terrorists by scanning and matching images and fighting wars by coordinating the flood of intelligence and making it instantly intelligible in the heat of battle. Our customers are very interested in decision quality, actionable information. That's their term. They want speed and accuracy in getting that information. Uh, in Undercuffler sees seconds, less lethal course, uses, uh, too. Video games, there's a clear use. And then for air traffic control, medical imaging, mm -hmm. uh, financial services, anywhere where there's an enormous amount of information. Right in the palm of your hand. This is very cool. In Los Angeles, I'm Bill Whitaker for Eye on America. Amazing stuff. And that's the CBS Evening News.